action. Hi. Hi. I am Bria. I'm Addison. We're going to be, pick, be pick, picking beets. Okay. Do you guys eat beets? I eat beets a lot. Good. They're That's what we're really having for lunch. Good. Um, sometimes I eat beets. Today you're going to eat beets. Yeah. What do we, how do we cook them? Do you remember what we put we on them? We boil them. Yep. And put salt on them. And, and butter. And butter. Everything's better with butter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. start pulling and then show uh, all my friends what you, shake the dirt off. If you get a worm, you let me know. Go ahead, Addie. Go for it. I found a beet. Okay, get that mud off. We have had tons of rain. Our and creek is flooded. really flooded. Keep going because we don't want this to be... No, no. Check first. If it's little, leave it in. Go to the next one. If it's a big one, pull her out. Oh, shake that dirt off there, girl. Keep going. Put them in a pile on the bark. On the bark? Yeah, right behind you. Oh. On the path. Mm -hmm. oh. Right there. See how many you can get. I got this. I got two. But always check if they're big enough. Are these big enough? Yep, that is big enough. So the girls never used to eat beets until we grew them one year here, and I made it for them and told them they had to try it. Bria, put it over to the side here. And uh, now they eat beets. In fact, Addie, it's one of her favorite veggies. They're so good. Keep checking. Go a little faster so these people I don't... I found three beets. Good. Good, good. Enough for Papa and I, too. The leaves are all eaten. Yeah, the uh, woodchuck or the baby bunny has been down here. And that is why I have a live trap. Do Japanese beetles come here, too? Uh, no, they haven't. They haven't bothered them. Four beets now. Okay, okay. And this one. It is very wet down here. It's There's my purse hot. lane. <gasps> Talk about a weed. That's contained there, though. Okay, keep going. You show me if you find any more. Keep going down the line. This one is a good one. Ooh, that is a good one. Is this a good one? The bugs didn't eat it, and it looks perfect. First, feel it. Addie, show her how to feel to see if the bead is big enough. No, in the ground. In the ground. Just like we feel for a carrot if it's big enough. Feel the, um, or do you think we should leave that one grow? Leave that one grow. Okay, keep going. Keep feeling. And Addie will let you know if you can pull it out. Okay, got another one? Ooh, this one's a big one. Whoa. Let Bria. I'm take off the dirt. Oh, Addie's taking off the dirt. Bria can show it to me. So down here, uh, it is wet when I'm walking on this bark. I, I can it. feel the sponge underneath. The water levels up. Okay, put it on our harvest pile. We have bell peppers down here. I stake them up. That's chicken wire I put over the beet so the bunnies stopped eating it. Okay, you got to feel it. Let Addie feel it first. Just toss it over there. Keep going. Oh, uh, which one are you picking? No, just keep going down the line. You feel it? Not big enough? Let it be till we... Oh, that's a good one too. Bria, back off. Bria likes to be aggressive. She's the baby, but... <laughs> okay, Addie, keep going. Let Bria dink around with that. I am the real beet picker. Yep. Yep. Sorry. And you're a patient sister. Get the dirt off of there, Bria. Put it back in the oh, garden. The baby, baby one. Okay, good. Then we'll have it for another meal sometime. If it's too small. We have enough there. Why don't we leave the others, okay? The other one? Yeah, count how many we got. That should be plenty for lunch. One, two. Still taking the beet. Okay, go in the mailbox then uh, and get a scissors. Addie? Six, what? 
go in the mailbox over there where I keep my tools and get the scissors and I want the uh, greens cut off the top and usually 11. okay good let's I mean 12. okay go over there in the work uh, mailbox and there should be a scissors and then you can cut the greens off the top and we put them back on the earth or on the dirt so we feed the soil mm -hmm. there's a scissors right in that mailbox over there Some celery, basil, kale. Cut the beet tops off? Yeah, you leave about uh, an inch or so and you cut around right here, okay? Yep, cut everything off. That's right. Okay, now put them. Bria, is there a bucket down here? Put them on the side and do another one. Bria, is there a bucket over there? Yeah. Okay. So here maybe. Can you carry it over here and we'll wash the beet? Maybe right here. Yep. Mm hmm Good. Really heavy. Okay, then just leave it there. Take the beets over there and you wash them. Take a couple beets over there and wash the dirt off. Do either one. Keep going. Yep, we're going to put that back on the soil where you pulled off out the beets. And you saw worms in the soil, right? Oh, they were big too. Yeah, they will love eating that. So. And then they poop out stuff? Yep, yep. And guess what that does? Fertilize the earth. Fertilize the earth, you're right. Okay, yep, that's good. Put it on the side and get another one and wash it. Two at a time. Okay, do two at a time. Do three at a time. You can. Put those back on the earth when you're done there, honey. Rhea, are you swishing? You can get your hands in there and rub that beet. Rub the root where all the dirt is. And then you can rewash them in the clean water over in the other bucket, okay? When you're done getting the dirt off there, put them in the clean There's bucket. On That's okay. Pull them off a little. Okay, now float another one in there. Okay, is there any more in the dirty bucket? Yeah. Okay, get another, get all the dirt off and then float them in the clean one. Wait, dude, you know beets can dye your shirt? Yeah, oh, yeah, they can for sure. They're really strong. I think uh, years ago, Native American Indians did use it for dyeing some of their clothes. Okay, good job, well done. Now you see the bird cages behind Addison is because um, the woodchuck's down here and baby bunnies, so it keeps them out of that container. The baby bunnies probably won't Yes, they did eat the carrots before, and the woodchuck did too. My mama's carrots are doing good. Good, good, good. I planted new ones under here. Under this blue bird cage here, we have... Uh, new carrots yesterday I planted them and chicken wire around this one because they were getting I'm eaten good put it in the clean bucket Swiss chard is in this one under this bird cage and our onions our green onions and chicken wire around this uh, yard long bean red noodle because they did eat these and they're coming back again Oh, I should have planted some, honey. I only planted green. Next year, I'll plant yellow for you. Borage. Mostly the flowers I eat. Did you put me in it? And keep, keep washing there and then put them in the clean bucket. And we also grow calendula down here. The scissors are kind of... Dull? Yeah. Are they working, though? Okay. 
Okay, we're going to call it an end in here pretty soon. So, um, well, I'll show them the beans. These are Kentucky Wonder and, of course, chicken wire around them again because they did uh, get to a few of them. You see right here. But they're coming. They'll just come shorter and later. About half of them. So half of them are up and over. And we'll get beans soon. And then my tomatoes that are planted right in the bog are doing okay. I thought they'd be overwatered, but so far so good. Three of them I have in containers. And uh, with the bottoms completely out. And then the rest are in the bog, hilled up a little. What kind do we have? Amish paste, celebrity, brandy wine, big beef. beef. Big beef. That's the name of one of the tomatoes. Watermelons. Only two survived over there because of the wet. There it's higher. Over there it's wetter. So these tomatoes are doing okay. The one tomato I have planted with a lot of bark in it is coming. I'll be anxious to see what kind of tomatoes it gives us. It is planted in a lot of bark. Oh, don't pick it. Okay, that's good enough. Then our pumpkins are over on the side here. Again, very, very low there. Standing water, but the crown of the plant is up a little higher. So here I don't have deer problems because they don't want to jump into this fencing. It's about five foot apart. There's another little fence there. That's what I'm thinking. And then in the bog garden, it is very busy and lots of objects. So they have not jumped in here. On this side, I just planted more beets. Uh, some kale, some Swiss chard, cilantro, green onions, little salad onions, parsley, nasturtiums. Under this uh, birdcage is uh, another new planting of onions, salad onions. Addie, remember to put the greens on the earth over here where we... And that'll help feed the soil. Peppers are kind of scrawny looking, but they are doing okay. I am spraying them with soapy water and a little cayenne pepper in the soapy water. And we had hail. So we have holes in the leaves. Some of the leaves have brown spots on them, but not real bad. But we had bad hail. Broccoli. I am not good at growing broccoli, and I tried to find Pac-Man at the stores, and I didn't. So next year, I want to try Pac-Man, because people here in Wisconsin have grown it and get some nice large heads. Kale's doing okay. Done. Careful. You are done? Well, she just had... Bria, put the scissors back, please, in the mailbox, and you spread those out on the earth wherever you pulled out beets. Kind of take your hand and go like this with the earth first, the soil. Smooth it out and then put the beet greens over it. Not the bark, just the earth. Okay? Good job. And this is what we're doing. Remember, Eddie, the other day when we talked about helping our planet? Mm -hmm. So. So that's why I ate more macaroni. <laughs> why? Because Mama says don't waste too much food. Oh, right, right. To help the earth. Right, that's true. Well, you don't have to make so much either. Mm. Okay, but we for sure try to limit our sugar, I if not it. eliminate it, and process food. I was telling Mama a few days ago. Keep, keep putting it on. Put it around the, beet, the peppers, too. Oh. It'll help feed them. 
just a thin layer. Grammy? Yes. Um, can we pull up the carrots? They're not ready yet. The next time you come, though, we might be able to pull some carrots. My mom was telling me a few days ago, I was telling mom a few days ago, that people should stop um, putting stuff out with Red 40 because I've been eating a lot of that, which is bad for me. Cause I is that a food coloring you're talking about? Yeah. It's really bad. It could cause cancer. Yes, so yes. I'm trying to stop eating that. It's just really addicting. You mean the things that have that red 40 in it? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's good. Plus you try. French fries. They were doing exams on them. Well, we don't even go there. You know Grammy won't go there. We do. Sometimes. Okay. Well, I feel like out, and there's only a McDonald's we go there. Okay, where is it best to eat? At home. Okay, finish those beet greens, say goodbye to the people, spread it on the peppers there, then the worms will feed my peppers. So you're saying the worms will feed your peppers? The, those greens that Addie chopped off. Give Bria a couple to put around the... Okay, take those and follow, do what your sister's doing. Putting them around those pepper plants where the orange stakes are. Can you see? Put them around this one, over here. Why are you doing that, Addie? To help the other stuff. But what is it going to do? It's gonna, um, the worms are gonna eat it and the worms are gonna poop it out and then they're gonna fertilize the soil. Right, and peppers are high feeders. They like fertile soil. So I thank you girls, and Grammy will go in now and uh, do the beats, okay? Say bye. bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow on Tea Time Tuesday, okay?